Now it's time to actually perform the search. We've built the search component, but now we need a actual detail of the search, right? That is, we get the form da data value and we can now use that value to run a search. So we can actually change this page to being, well, somewhere else. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually import router from at angular dash router or slash router. And then in our constructor, we'll do private and router is router. Okay, so router of course is a variable and that is our import. So um, inside of here now, we can actually go down here and do this dot router dot navigate and we can take it where we want it to go. So inside here, we're gonna put it into an array. And the first thing is search. So that's gonna be what we're gonna call it. And then we'll add in any sort of parameters that we might want. So in our case, it'll be form.value and Q, right? So that's actually the value of Q. So what I'm gonna do here is just say, let query equal to that value. And I'll just say, if query, then I'll actually do that routing. Otherwise, we won't do any routing or even try. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. That's how you actually can do navigation. So this right here is the portion of how you can do navigation um, inside of your component itself. So we save this and we go back into Chrome and we've got form data, not form, a little mistake there. Okay, so it's back and I'll do new search, hit enter, and I get an error, right? It's saying uncaught error, it's not, it doesn't match any routes. So of course, when you use router, it has to be routed. So in app.routing.ts, this actually has to have something set up. So if I go ahead and copy videos and just put search in here and try it again, I'll do new search, hit enter, it gives me all of the videos, right? So it's actually going into the video list. It's not actually inside of what we're looking for. What if I change this to a Q? Well, that is the standard sort of like, or the traditional way of doing a search is you have a, a get parameters in here like this. Um, but of course ours is a little different. It has a semicolon there instead of a Q or excuse me, instead of a question mark. So what we wanna do now is actually update our video list component to some sort of search detail. Now I am not gonna use the video list component. I'm gonna keep those separate. So I'm gonna have an actual component specifically for search or the detail from search. So the response from search. And we'll just do ngg component and search dash detail. Press enter and of course it's going to create our search detail component and that's what we wanna work with. So this right here. Now of course, if I go back to my app module, I see the search detail is in there. In fact, I'm gonna reorder these so it's in alphabetical. It's just something I like to do. It's a lot easier long term. So I go ahead and cut out or copy the search detail component and bring it into app routing as well. And now the search detail I'm gonna put instead of the search itself, okay? So not a whole lot of new things so far. I do a new search, it says search detail works. Look at the query up here, that's good. Um, so I'm gonna come back in and inside of my search detail um, component, we're going to handle this route. So we wanna get the parameters from what's in the URL. So to do this, we do import and it's activated route from angular slash router. So this might look familiar and it should because we've already used it before. So activated route is inside of the video detail. We're doing the same sort of thing inside of our search detail. So again, with the constructor, we'll do private route and this is activated route. So we wanna add a sub here and I'll do private and this is gonna be route sub and we're gonna make it any. And then I also wanna have on destroy. 
So again, whenever we have any sort of subscribe, we want to have on destroy. It's actually called an observable if you are familiar or curious about that. But we definitely want to be able to destroy it. Okay. So this dot route sub that unsubscribe. Okay. And then on ng init, we'll say this dot route sub equals to this dot act this dot route dot params dot subscribe params and fat arrow console log params. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And we refresh in here. Um, we get our parameters here. So Q is new search. And there it is. So we now have our search here. So we can just put query and I'll put this as a string. And we'll do this dot query equals to params dot q. And that doesn't run any errors. So we'll just come back into our detail component and do searched for query. Save that. And there it is. Cool. So I'll put a b tag in here for bold. And of course, if I do a search or I don't have any parameters in here, then it's just empty. So I will put in ng if equals to query. And I'll put another one. So ng if not query. Then I'll just put search. And in fact, we'll change this from a P tag to a div tag to ensure that that's working correctly. And then I'll put an H1 and we'll just say do search or search something like that. And we'll just add a class of text center. Save that and we refresh in here. And we got an unexpected closing tag of div. So uh, it's possible that the reason this isn't working correctly is because of this search tag. So I'll just put, oh, nope, it's this right here, single quote. So let's bring that search tag back in. I'll explain what I was about to do in just a second. Okay, cool, so it's saying search something. So notice it is the same exact search item. So new search, I hit a, uh, a search and it comes through. But basically what I was thinking is that I might've had to take this out and added NGF query on that, and it's still the same result. It's just, it's this is no longer inside of this search something portion, right? Um, so I also noticed that, you know, like my search itself is not centered, right? So the form itself is not centered. So if I inspect the element here, um, specifically for that item, I can add different sort of classes on this that I might make it centered. So if I did margin zero auto, it doesn't do anything. And if I did width of let's say 200 pixels, still not loading. So it's probably going to be based off of the nav bar form itself. So the actual loaded item that's in there that will make the biggest difference in where that's actually located. So if we look at that component and if I got rid of nav bar left here it will allow it to go center and then the other portion is now um, a little bit messed up so we might have to override the nav bar left um, based on whichever we're rendering it so what I will do here is I'm going to add a class of uh, search inline save that and now this search inline inside of there, we've got nav bar left. So I'm going to um, add in a new class here. So let's go ahead and scroll down into our styles here and we'll do search inline and then nav bar left, which is giving us this float here. So I'll just do search inline float none and important. And that didn't do anything, so we'll do search inline dot nav bar left float none, 
and there we go. Cool. So it, it aligns it just a little bit better. Um, I just kind of played around with it on my own um, to find that actually working. Um, again, this is this is something that would take a little bit of experience using Bootstrap, and that's something that I do have. But um, you get the benefit of seeing it in action, so you can actually use this with now bar right as well. So if for some reason you had the search going the other direction, you just change the float to be none. So let's look at the, that component. If I change this to nav bar right, save that. Uh, this scrolls over now, and this is still right in the center. So since we've got that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually have my search component. I wanna actually have this search there all the time. So I'll leave it there and we'll save that. And I want it still in the center. It's no longer in the center because I took it out of this text center here. So I'll just go ahead and add text center. And there it goes, right in the middle to do a search. And of course we still have our other search item, which I'll actually bring to being left again because I, I actually want it over here versus where it was. Um, and I'll get rid of search something because, well, we don't need that. Okay, so our search is getting closer, but there's still a couple things that we want to do. Um, number one, we want to actually show the query or that's inside of the search. So if the, I did a search, so I do new search here, I might want the query to show up actually in the search box itself. And I do wanna have that search bar always going. Um, or I just want it to show up in this search box, not necessarily the top one. So th that's gonna make us have to actually do a little bit more stuff with the search component itself. But then the next and more important thing is we need to actually show some results. So that's what we'll start working towards and making this search function just a little bit better. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.